My name is uh, Renato. I'm a teacher, um, professor here, teacher here at uh, Sampa Jiu Jitsu in Glendora. And this video is for everyone, uh, everyone in uh, the community of martial arts and mostly for the parents. It's a more like an educational video for the parents uh, that pr are thinking of having uh, your child or their child in, 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 in martial arts. Okay, so what martial arts are we going to consider, right? So is that a, is that a good or, or bad martial arts? You know, some people would say yes or not, and, and uh, that's a kind of very deep uh, conversation. But truly, if it's a martial art that your kid like it, then uh, that's the best one, okay? Whatever martial arts your kid like is the best one. It's very hard to compare. But if the martial arts is telling, uh, uh, it's meant to be for self-defense, it's meant to be uh, some athletic, to bring some athleticism to your child, and of course, some kids will be more athletic than others, but if you see it in average, nobody's kind of athletic, and something is wrong with that martial arts is specific. Uh, and self-efficacy, right? So something that we say here a lot: the self-efficacy and physical literacy. The kids have got to be, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, physicality, a lot of uh, you know moves. They can do a lot of stuff. And self-efficacy, like say no to peer pressure, uh, be able to compete without a coach in there, and you know many things. Be, be able to behave in a proper manner when the parents are not around. Okay, so uh, uh, and that and that includes a lot of things, right? So, uh, and, and i but sometimes I see it's a martial arts, and and I see some videos around. So the kid is eating, yeah, yeah, and, and that is no touch, right? So it's like oh, okay, we don't want to kids hitting each other. But again, is that a true martial arts? Are they learning the, the you know the real thing? And then the next thing you know, there are black belts, black belt on in what black belt on hitting this. So again, I just don't want to try to be disrespectful to any other ones. But but again. If your kid like that, great. Might be a good good exercise. Most likely, your kid is not gonna be involved with 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 uh, 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 bad things. You know, some life could great. But please do not think your your child can can fight. Okay, because if they at the moment that they never put their hands on each other, at the moment that they never push or pull, or somebody's on top, somebody somebody's trying to choke on arm, but it's you know it's it's very very uh, um, uh, how do you say very hard to say that your child can fight. It's a good sport. It is. It's like a cheerleader. It's like uh, uh, soccer. Yes, it's like any other sport. But please, please do not think they can fight. All right. So it's very clear that I, that I need you guys to understand with this video, okay? And that's very important, very serious point too. Uh, you see kids getting, uh, getting black belts at eight years old, you know? In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, black belt, and some tough martial arts, like um, Muay Thai and, and uh, I mean, wrestling, if we can call that a martial arts. It, it is, it is. That is the aspect of martial arts and wrestling, although it's a sport too. But... Uh, they don't have they don't have belts, okay. In, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, do we, do we do have belts? We you know we, we, we try to, but but again, the belts is just a part of of the martial art, arts alone, okay. It's just uh, you know if you really love the martial arts and you try everything that you that you want, everything that you can, and try hard, then belts will be just a consequence, right? So. Uh, so there is not such a thing on the back of you know black belt in Muay Thai, black belt in boxing. No, but they, it's all tough martial arts anyway. It's wrestling, tough martial arts, Jiu Jitsu, Judo. But but uh, again, it's it's very important to, to to understand. Can my child really fight? Okay, is my child a black belt now? Eight years old, nine, ten years old. Like, can they really fight? Can they really, you know, a, a black belt means a lot of things. Supposed to be a lot of things. Okay, it's not unfortunate. Even if it's called junior black belt, it doesn't matter. Okay, your your uh, your child gotta be able to do and, and that is the same jujitsu, right? Uh, the belt covers three inches, you know, three inches of your your, your of your butt. The, the rest you have to cover yourself, unfortunately, right? So uh, is a child is a child eight years old be be able to uh, respond for themselves like uh, 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 before like a law? Can they drive? They cannot. And please, I'm not trying to offend anyone on, on that matter. Maybe already doing, but uh, again, in, in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, can only be a black belt uh, after 18 years old. In some martial arts, after 16 years old. So they, 
it's very hard, okay? And then sometimes people even consider why, why uh, we don't have adults, why we don't get adults, because no adults wants to like call a eight years old a sensei or, or a professor. That's, you know, this makes sense. The kids cannot teach, you have to respect that, okay? And I, uh, and that's what I, I want you guys to think, okay? If it's a true martial arts or it's just a mark for the, for the motions, for the, you know, here to pretend, you know, spinning kicks and all this stuff and uh, flashy stuff. If it is, hey, great, please, great. But please, please do not think that they can fight.